what is their reaction to you? Well, they say the word inspirational, and I kind of motivate them to persevere. Inspiring others and reminding everyone we still have a lot to be thankful for. Channel 5's John Paul Baraja spoke with a local artist whose disease changed her life, but certainly did not stop her from living it. John Paul. Good morning, Mike. This Thanksgiving, Gloria Bermay has a lot to be thankful for. Despite her skin and bone condition, she's still able to paint. And thanks to trunk full of junk in Harlingen, she now has somewhere to display all of her artwork. Just by speaking to her, you would never know she was suffering from scleroderma, a rare disease that tightens the skin and hardens the hands. Like Bango says, painting your dream is what I want to do. And I'm doing it right now. Retired, but I'm painting my dream. Gloria Bermay was diagnosed roughly 20 years ago. It wasn't until she started losing mobility and fell into a deep depression that she ever had the desire to pick up a paintbrush. But not only had she never painted seriously, she had to figure out how to do it with her condition. I have a frozen shoulder on this part, so I have to lift my arm, hold the brush, and just use my wrist. As it turns out, she's really good. These are some of her recreations from some of her favorite artists, like Bob Ross. The others? These are memories. I love horses. I rode in once, never again. At my age, <laughs> I'm too brittle. And I love Selena, I love Van Gogh, I love my town, I love flowers, and I love challenges. All of her work is on display at the antique store Trunk Full of Junk in Harlingen. Last month, the owner, Sonia West, decided to help local artists bring in some extra cash during the pandemic so she doesn't charge a housing fee for their work, just takes a percentage of any purchases. She is able to inspire other people to do art by showing them what she can do even with her disability. And I wouldn't call it a disability, I would call it uh, an inspiration. Wes saw how well Gloria taught herself how to paint, so she's now bringing her to the store to teach an art class once a month. Gloria motivates Wes. Wes displays Gloria's art and gives her an opportunity to teach, making them both very thankful this holiday season. Meeting Gloria was so awesome. She's this nice little lady who I try to explain to that I have no artistic trait in my body, but she was determined to get me out to one of her classes, so I'm going to have to go check that out. And who knows, Mike, Cecilia, you guys might have some John Paul originals on your desk come this Christmas. Live in Macau, John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News, this morning.